Hi, my name is Lisa Gittins and I am a costume designer. So the costume designer is the person responsible for dressing all of the characters in a production. Um, the principal characters, the background characters, non-script extras, everybody. Um, you have to work really closely with the director because you're trying to f bring their vision to life on screen. Um, what a character wears can say so much about who they are, what's their motivation, their social standing. They can either blend in with the situation they find themselves in or stick out like a sore thumb. Sore thumb. There's so many ways that costuming helps advance the storyline and gives you clues as to what it's all about and what's going on, you know? So, I'm actually relatively new to the industry. I've only been doing this for a couple of years. Um, my background is actually fashion design. I've been in garment design and production for close to 20 years. So, um, I got the chance to do costuming for a production when a friend asked me to do it. And um, I have to say, it was just an incredible experience. It was, you know, here's a job that actually requires all the exact skills that I already possess, but allows me to be creative in a totally, completely a new way. And I mean, you know, finding that, you know, pretty deep into your career, finding a whole new wellspring of creativity and passion and inspiration has been, you know, an absolute delight that I'm very grateful for. Oh gosh, absolutely hands down, the collaboration. Um, in fashion design, you know, you're thinking up of ideas that you are then going to try and um, sell to the public. Whereas costume design starts very much with the character and the story, understanding them really well. You're trying to take something that is inside and make it visible on the outside. Um, so it's just really fascinating to spend time really getting to know the characters and understand how they would dress, how they would be, to the point where when you're flicking through clothes, you can say, oh, that's Anna, that's whoever. Because you know, you, you know you've inhabited the character so much that you can sort of recognize what pieces will work for them going forward. Um, but the major, major thing that I have loved is the collaboration. I mean, Fashion can be a pretty solitary pursuit if you are just design. I mean, I'm in production, so I have you know a team that we work with. But um, on a film, I mean, for me, for my newbie experience, the first time I ever did it, I was blown away by the amount of people that need to know exactly what they're doing, the logistics. Just that many people coming together to create something is, it's incredible. That much you know, creative energy is just, oh my God, it gives you a high. It's an absolute high. And that is hands down my favorite part, the collaboration. Good Lord. I haven't learned. <laughs> um, I've learned lots of stuff, but I, I think the major thing I've actually learned is that there is still so much more to learn. Um, be open to life's experiences take the chances, do the things, grab the opportunities. Um, I definitely don't feel that I'm in a position where I have everything figured out and I have a neatly wrapped parcel of wisdom to hand down to my 20 year old self. I would have probably been a little bolder and a little less faithful. That's what I would have told myself, but I'm still working it out to be very honest with you. Uh, in 20 years time, I hope to be doing, gosh, I don't know, I mean, when you're a creative person, you you want to just be making a living doing what you're doing and get some recognition for it, you know? Um, so I guess in 20 years time, I hope I will have accumulated, you know, lots of other great costuming opportunities and whatever else creatively may come along, but for me, um, the deeper I get into my career, the more I recognize that, you know, my, the wellspring of my creativity gets filled up by new experiences and trying new things and feeling a little bit out of your comfort zone. So in 20 years time, I hope to be still taking on things that make me cool sweat a little bit because when you achieve them, that sense of, you know, wow, I did it is really cool. So there you have it. Thanks for listening, guys. Take it easy.